Well, all right, guys. Hitman here. <clears throat> Coming back at you again with another episode of Hoon Talk It O, right? And uh, in today's episode, we're going to be replacing the rear shock absorbers. So the, f I mean, so there's a, oh, but stay facing the light. Okay, so I'm kind of constrained in here, as you can see, there's not a lot of room making content for myself, I guess. So first steps, I got this guy out of here. I'm gonna lower, can you see me there? Oh, mm, oh, mm. fuck. Leg came off her, I would washed out. I'm just gonna lower it down. All right. And once you got that going, get this going. This thing on. <laughs> I already put some blocks in the front tires. You can't see them, but they're there. And the reason why I did that was to make sure that this doesn't roll forward when I'm doing this. You don't want the wheels to be all the way off the ground. You just want the weight to be taken off of them because we're going to crack them loose first. Oh, so I got a specialty a wheel lock thing. Hold on a second here. That ain't my guy. That's another one I had. Plan your videos, right? So on there, that's the right one. Now we're going to just crack them all loose. Buddy and detorque them with the ones opposing each other. So that one and that one and this one in whatever order as long as they're opposing. Mr. Buck does the opposite of what he says right off the bat. Now I'm gonna go do that to the other side and then I'll get back at you. So as you might be able to tell, doctor up, right doctor? Now we're gonna slap them the rest of the way off with this. Or not. I don't know if I missed that one or if I'm just dumb or both or maybe something, I don't know. Exhaust fumes get me, must be a gas leak. <laughs> So I already took the tire off the other side. It's pretty much going to be the same thing. I mean, it's going to be identical. I put a jack stand under the other side, but I'm going to put one under this side too. Hate to be that statistic who just gets caught dead hooning in his garage, has something fall on him or something, or also maybe nothing, I don't know. So this is the guy we're after. All right, guys, had a bit of a crisis there. My jack broke actually, so that wasn't great. Right over the little tap and die guy. 12 by 125, that's as big as I got. That's it. So I'm just running this down the threads, give him a nice little clean up, right? And it's going to make it way easier coming off. <laughs> Now look at that, eh? That's looking pretty good. I mean, compared to this. I'm gonna do that to the rest of them and then I'll get back at you. <laughs> now we're gonna get at these guys. I decided to show you this side instead of that side just cause the top nut on the other side is too hard to see, right? So we'll get you on this side here. So we got this guy, the super penny, some penetrating, whatever, we bracken. Just hit him with that a little. It helps to put this on quite a bit before you do it, not immediately like I am. Now it's pretty much only gonna serve to just get in my eyes, but I wanted to show you anyway, right? <laughs> Well, that's penetrating. Giggity. So the reason why I've got it jacked off of this, jacked off, right? Giggity. Like off the axle is because I wanted the suspension to stay compressed because it's going to be easier to put it on rather than have to set it down after and not line whatever up. So it's going to crack these guys loose. It's going to come off super easy. Because why? Because we did the die on it, right? The, from the tap and die set. So I'm even doing anything anymore. Garbage. Yes, Koopy? Teeth are whistling. What the fuck? Set that aside. This one is not coming out as nice, guys. Hopefully we don't have a pile-up situation. <laughs> okay. Well, never give up, right? <laughs> I'm back, trying a new thing first. I'm gonna go in this way. I mean, the, the top one's sort of going, right? A lot of grunting, a lot of noises. Pretty much what it comes down to when you're working on vehicular devices. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now that's coming off of there. Still pretty strong. Okay, so that's that side off. All right, so I got it cleaned up a little bit. A little bit something or maybe nothing, I don't know. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of anti-seize on there just to make it easier going on and also to prevent it from seizing on as well. Okay, so this is how it came. I'll twist it up with this wire business on there. It also came with a thing here that I don't, actually don't want in there anymore. Spacer, I think it might be for another type of car. Anyway, take this off. Okay, so to prime a shock, and it's important that you do this because they're a mixture of gas and uh, hydro, hydro, hyd hydraulics. I don't know, guys. Uh, anyway, oh, it says right on there. Do not. Oh, no mind. Dude, just pay attention. Okay, so what you want to do is turn her upside down. Then you're going to want to compress it all the way. Flip it right side up and let it extend. I'm going to do it three times total. And that'll get her nice and primed. And what that does, uh, pff, who knows? I'll put it in the description if I remember to look it up or whatever. But you're supposed to do that, so that's what you should do. I'm actually just gonna prime this other one too. One last time. We go from upsy daisy to downsy doozy. Squish it, flip it. Oh yeah, that ain't awkward at all. Flip it, squish it, flip it. Oh yeah. Flip it, squish it, flip it. Oh yeah. My neighbors are gonna be like, doing Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies in there? I got news for them. I am sweating and I am old. 
value. Now these are ready for install. Now we gotta get her in, because we're gonna do these bushings as well. The links were supposed to be here too, these ones, because they're rubbing against the maneuver there. They're supposed to be here too, but uh, they got delayed. As you might have noticed, I sprayed that with the penetrator. A lot of did grunts going guys, a lot of did grunts. Hit them with the NTCs again. Okay, so that come off there, that come off there, that come off like that. And he brought a new one over, but where is it? It's supposed to be held in there, it's not at all, eh? That's why I'm getting the new ones going. So. So now all we gotta do is reinstall the boys. And the boys number two. And our guy here, our new guy. Okay, so I threaded that guy in first in the top. And then now I'm just gonna wind him under. There's a little hooker. And then this guy go in there. And then you just tighten them all up. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll get back at you. And then I'll show you how to do the sway bar links in the back once they come in. All right, so we're back at it again. I mean, oh, no, and in my, it's uh, it's the same day for sure. I'm, I didn't just put on uh, the same clothes or nothing to make it look good. Uh... Anyway, uh, so basically uh, we're on to the rear links now. They finally came in a couple days, same day later, right? Uh, uh, what's gonna happen now is I've already done what I did on the shocks, right? Threaded on the die there, sprayed it with some penetrating eww, fluid, also known as the eww, also known as eww, also known as eww, fluid. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's just sitting in there doing its job, penetrating, right? I mean, pff, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna do, right? Eww. Anyway, he says anyway a lot. It's almost like the new ah, but except I'm still saying ah. Anyway, ah, ah. Eww. Anyway, oh, geez. Hell yeah. So basically what's going on now is I've taken out the one side and I show you the side that's easy to see because there's less in the way, right? But first I want to take you down here and show you why I replaced this bastard in the first place, right? New jack too. Basically because the other one broke. I don't know if I had it on camera or whatever, but camera. What am I? Mike Holmes. Okay, see how that guy's contacting that? He was doing that the whole time, right? And that was making noise and it actually broke off this like little grease thing. Don't got the core strength for this guy. Oh! So all you gotta do is that guy there, and then up there, that guy there. You gotta just undo those guys. What you wanna do is get a set of wrenches or something on the back. I'm gonna use vice grips because I don't wanna take the time to figure out what wrench size that is, right? Just crack her loose like that. Get her, get her, get her. So that part's done. Now these, you're gonna wanna jam up there or your wrench or whatever. Get them wound in. You know what I love? Dirt in my face. Ah, ah. Oh, I hope you guys couldn't see my face there. It's ugly. I mean, it's ugly most times anyway, right? <coughs> He didn't have his friends over and he's beaking himself. So those vice grips are just holding themselves, which is a nice touch. <sighs> just slide the bastard out. So I'm not convinced that I had these in the right way last time. Like I think it was supposed to be the way it was, but like the other one was scraping, right? Why is it scraping, guys? But I'm just gonna put them back in the same way that I had them because I imagine my past self probably did it the right way. But I mean, I've been wrong before. I've been very wrong before, guys. And just like that, guys, we're on the way back now. <laughs> That wrench right there is locked onto this part. So you have one part of, part of it's flat. No, you probably can't. Anyway, one part of it's flat. All right, all I gotta do is do that to the other side and then we'll be good to go, right? Just block the light, why don't you? So that one's on now and it clears the leaf spring, right? So that's pretty good. Oh, I'm back. Took a bit of time there. That side came out actually a lot easier than the other side I'm sweating. Oh, so it tightened up there and tightened up down there. I ended up replacing those bolts because they were stretched. I did the same on this side just because they got stretch rude, right? So all I gotta do under here now, put back on the spare to year after using my broken jack to lift the car up. Frick's sakes. There it is, new one there. And if you're ever wondering why you got one shock facing to the front like this, and the other one facing to the back like this, that's to prevent axle wind up. It tends to want to wind up because of the torque it's under, right? So that kind of helps to cushion that sort of maneuver. Makes everybody happier, right? I'm gonna zip these on. I hand threaded them first. So that gun sounds a whole hell of a lot tougher than it actually is. They're barely done up. What I'm gonna do now is lower down the vehicle. Bud, plan your videos. Just gonna lower down the vehicle enough to stop the tires from turning, and then I'm gonna torque them with a torque wrench and I'll show you. Mm. Oh yeah. If you don't have a torque wrench and you'd rather use like an impact, just, just hit her with, I don't have air or else I would just duck a duck it. But yeah, a couple, two, three duck a duck is, right? Eep. So you wanna go in a star pattern, like I was saying before, you wanna hit her. And I'm torquing these to 100 foot pounds, but you gotta look up your torque spec and continue with the star pattern. Okay, so once they're all tight, I like to go around in just a circle and make sure I didn't miss one. Oh, I did miss one. See, that's why you do it, guys. And girls. Once you got them all checked there, guys, then you're gonna wanna lower the vehicle down all the way. Come on, this freaking tree, put freaking tree, but you don't wanna lower it all the way down and put all the vehicle weight on it before you torque those up because you can end up with not the right torque on the wheels and fall off or whatever, right? You don't want that. You don't want the wheel to be cockeyed, cause you problems, right? Make sure it's flush and then just 
hit it with the torque or a couple duckas, right? A couple, two, three duckas, duckas, it's hard to say. Depends on your air pressure, right? You should know better than I would. What are you doing, bud? So that's how you install your rear uh, shock absorbers and uh, rear sway bar bushings. We're gonna bolt up the other side, put that spare back in, and then I'll get back at you when I get the tires off the front and we'll show you how to do the other one. All right, guys, back at it again, sweating, as you can see here. As you can see here. This is the front one we're gonna be doing and leaking a little clunking. So I got the penetrating lubricity on there. I'm just getting into the tap and die set again. And then we'll just clean up those threads and then bust that off of there. Should be a pretty quick one, so. Allegedly, allegedly. So I'll get back at you once I get those threads cleaned up. We'll be good to go. All right, back at you. Okay, so I cleaned those up. They're looking pretty good there, I think. So really all there is to to this job is take the wheel off and bust up a thread clean up there hit that guy break him free so take that guy out first and then do that guy second and once you've done that just put in a new one with the new hardware and you'll be good to go but yeah so i penetrating lube them let's get started all right so the bottom one i'm getting here so it's your game, right? Then we'll put a little bit of anti-seize lubricity on that. I'm hoping that we will have loosened this up enough that the bottom won't spin. No, it's not. So how do you stop that from moving, right? I want to get these guys on there. Get a clamper going. And now she's coming, right? That clamp just got her held. Little vissy glips. What? Vissy grips. Okay. Take the vis off. These are gonna be replaced because we got new ones, right? And then you just give her the old squish out and the lift. That's it. So like I was saying, start in the upside down, push it all the way in, flip it over. It's a rising. Once it hits, do it again. Rinse and repeat till you've done three. I'm gonna put the bottom one in first and then I'm gonna slap this guy in there. Oh, so with that in there, now I'm gonna push it down, compress it, line it up, and get it in there. This one on top. Now it came with the new nut, and then you just tighten them down. Because it's got a new guy going, you're gonna wanna be putting a wrench on that because this nut has a little rubber thing on it to make it not back out. Suppose we just grip the bottom again. Oh. See if this spins on us. No, it's not the same size. Oh, I can just hold it, guys, that's great. I can just hold this whole jacket. So I don't know if that's supposed to keep going there or that appears to be bottomed. So that's how you replace your front shocks there. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to like, favorite, and scuba dive, right? Let's get to a thousand, guys. What if we did that? What if we got to a thousand subs? Scoobs, scoobs. Got to a thousand scoob adverse. Uh, that would be great, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this all back together. I'm gonna do the other side. I hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, scuba dive, and I'll see you later. Oh yeah. Like, favorite, subscribe. As you can see here. Spitting everywhere. God. I mean, you only got yourself to blame. Plenty of videos, but come on.